Hey, what's up? This is Frank. We're here today looking at my uh, Toyota MR2 with a 2GR FE swap. And uh, what I'm set up to do is uh, vacuum testing, testing the vacuum level at idle on the manifold. So what I've done is I've capped the PCV line right here. It's capped. And then the PCV suction line, I put a hose on it and it, it runs back to this vacuum gauge, okay, which happens to be attached to this little hand pump. But uh, you can see that my vacuum level at warm idle is, uh, what the hell is it? It's just like, just above 20 PSI, okay? Just a hair above. And uh, it could come up a little bit higher as the car warms up a little bit more. Now, what I'm also looking at here is uh, through my OBD2 with the torque app. I've got some displays that show me how the car is running. I've got a line graph of the short term fuel trims on both banks versus time. And down beneath, I've got the short term fuel trim and long term fuel trim at, on bank one. And same thing for bank two. So we see everything is running just fine. Okay, and this is with a three inch intake with the mass located right here. It's a three inch outward diameter, outside diameter intake. Okay, and uh, the reason I'm doing this is just to demonstrate how you would look for a vacuum leak. Okay, so I don't have an issue right now, but this is what you would do if you suspected you had a vacuum leak somewhere that's allowing unmetered air into your intake manifold, you could hook up some lines like this, okay, and you could monitor or check your vacuum level at idle. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, okay, and uh, will be to check for possibility of a vacuum leak through somewhere else. Like uh, here is the brake booster line that runs all the way around and to a hard line over there on the firewall and then it connects to the brake booster on the front. And you know with all this length of tubing, it wouldn't be surprising that a vacuum leak could get into that. So um, how would we check for that? So. What I'm going to do in order to do that is I'm going to uh, reconnect the PCV line, okay, or cap it maybe, and then I'm going to check for vacuum uh, on the suction line for the brake booster. And if it's different, okay, if it's the same, if the vacuum level is the same, then I know everything is fine. But if it's different, okay, so if when I reconnect, then I have a different vacuum level, then I know something is up. I don't necessarily know what. It just tells me that I need to investigate more. So in order to do this, I actually need to shut off the car, or I'll just show you, right? Because if I pull this off right here, what's going to happen? Who wants to guess what's going to happen? Okay, there. That's what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. For just a second, I'm going to cap and reconnect everything, and then we're going to start it up and measure again. So just bear with me.
Okay, so now I've uh, reconnected the PCV line. Of course, I have an oil catch can right here in case you're wondering what the heck that is. All right, and then I've taken my vacuum gauge and connected it onto the brake booster. And I actually, I have not done this test before. So I'm really curious to see what I've got. Okay. And uh, interestingly, my vacuum level is just a little tiny bit lower, right? And let's take, let's take a look at the fuel trims. Okay, so the fuel trims have changed a tiny little bit and we don't really know why. I mean, they're still within an entirely acceptable range. Uh, but this little test, I've been able, oh wait a minute, this just went back up. So it's back to where it was. So whatever change happened was just inconsequential. May have been just a result of shutting off the car temporarily. I don't know. I'm just going to call them the same. The vacuum lines across each line, I mean the vacuum levels across each line are the same. Okay, and the fuel trims are, they're just as, ha, ah, they're, now they're more perfect than before, right? I mean, look at this, I got zero and zero. So, what this is indicating to me is the possibility that there is a tiny little leak somewhere on the brake booster line. Because see now the brake booster line is disconnected. It's just hanging here, right? This is my brake booster line going to the front. So it's disconnected and the vacuum level is just slightly higher. So that means somewhere along that booster line, there's a tiny little leak that is letting in a tiny little bit of air that is unmetered air that is causing the ECU to trim fuel a little bit higher. And there you have it. You heard it here first at Frank's Friendly Cars. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate, of course. All right, guys, bye.